What is the meaning of the term vaccine efficacy? And is one's genetic makeup altered after taking the vaccine? Welcome to A Matter of Fact, a production of the Pan American Health Organization for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries. I'm Nicola Barito. A Matter of Fact is designed to inform and educate you about the SARS-CoV-2 virus, which causes COVID-19. We also take an in-depth look at the benefits of vaccination. Bottom line, facts only. My guest is Dr. Courtney Lewis, Vice Chair of the National Technical Working Group for COVID-19 in Antigua and Barbuda. Dr. Lewis, which vaccines approved by the World Health Organization are available to us here in the Eastern Caribbean? Uh, we have available to us the Pfizer-BioNTech, we have the AstraZeneca slash Covishield, and we also have Sinopharm. Excellent. When we hear the term vaccine efficacy, what exactly does that mean? It's the vaccine's ability to produce an immune response against the pathogen that you want it to fight. So essentially, how good is this vaccine at making you protect yourself against COVID-19? That's what the efficacy means. So when we think about, uh, let's say, the Oxford AstraZeneca, which is available to us here in the Eastern Caribbean, which is what we're, we're using at this point in time, uh, what is the efficacy rate of this particular vaccine? When administered correctly, according to protocols, you get pretty much just over 82% efficacy. And that was in clinical trials. The real world data is actually showing even better numbers, closer to 90%. Who should take the vaccine? And what about children? So anyone who's eligible to take the vaccine, so anyone who doesn't have any medically specified conditions that their doctors advise them not to take the vaccine for, should go and take the vaccine. And for children specifically, the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine is the only one that's specifically approved by the FDA for pediatric ages, children of 12 to 18. Is there any ingredient or element in any of the vaccines that can alter an individual's DNA? Oh no, not whatsoever. Um, the only vaccines that even have any genetic material in them would be the Pfizer-BioNTech or the Moderna vaccines, and those simply have messenger RNA, which doesn't get anywhere near your nucleus, so it doesn't affect the human genome at all. So the conspiracy theory of turning into a zombie mm -hmm. or, you know, dropping dead in about a year or two mm -hmm. or not being able to have children or losing libido, there are so many of them. Agreed. Fact or fiction? Definitely fiction, and the science backs that up. So far, we've had many parents of healthy children who've been fully vaccinated. We've had no one turn into zombies that I know of, and none of the conspiracy theories so far have been proven to be correct. What is your message to the Eastern Caribbean? Let's all work together, let's try and keep each other safe and utilize all of the weapons that we have against COVID-19 while we still can, including being vaccinated. So wash your hands, six feet apart, social distance, physical distance. And wear your mask. Wear your mask and get vaccinated. Agreed. Thank you so much, Dr. Lewis. You're most welcome. This has been A Matter of Fact, a production of the Pan American Health Organization for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries. Thank you for joining us.